Muy buenas amigos y amigas de YouTube. Aquí Mr. Jonathan y vamos a jugar a Crystals. Y ya hemos terminado con el arco de Neva Tulira. Y ahora, espera un momentico, ah, y, ah, sí. y ahora nuestro siguiente sino es Tinder. I'm here to offer you an assortment of wonderful weapons. Pero antes voy a mejorar con cronosíntesis las armas que tienen de los aliados. Ya Chris Bell tiene la espada de, de, verdadera de la dama en su máximo esplendor. Solo quedarían Wilhelm, JKR y... Christopher, pero por el momento no me alcanza la plata para mejorar las armas, así que paso. Y también paso, así como también paso de ir a, a la posada porque es una tontería. Y sí, vamos a darle un hasta luego a Neva Tulira por ahora. Y nos dirigimos a Cinder. El hogar de el, el hogar de donde vino rojo y rojizo. ¿Se acuerdan de los de el, la cristalería rojo y rojizo? Quienes se, se encargaron uno de del vitral y el otro del espejo. Son de allá. Y son de Cinder. Y allá es. Y en Cinder. Es a donde vamos. Por un largo tiempo. Sí. Vamos a ir. Partamos. Ah, my diminutive dearies. You're back from Nevatulira. How did things go? Actually, it was kind of horrible. My goodness. I suppose it's not even worth asking what everyone was wearing. So, what's next for my little adventurers? Esa Paul Gloria es las prioridades de Paulina. <laughs> Esta Paulina. We need to get to a place called Cinder. Can you take us there? I'm afraid I can't. I'm terribly sorry, but unlike your new friend there, I can't just wander the world willy-nilly. Hold on. That's not No, wait. That is fair and accurate. Please continue. Thank you, dearie. I'm afraid this is as far as I can go. We don't have any other way of getting there. Oh, darling, don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. I guess I could make a small... You wouldn't mind? Oh, it's not a problem at all, my minuscule adventurers. But only to the beaches of the kingdom. Nothing more, nothing less. De acuerdo. It is settled then. On to Cinder we go. Okie dokie. Cinder, allá vamos. Y sí, parece que se mueve de manera estática, como si fuera, se tratase eh, de, de un barco. Como que Cinder queda como hacia el oeste de Neva Tulira. Y bueno, como de costumbre vamos a hablar con nuestros compañeros. Empezando con Christopher. Hola Crispel. What's happening with Wilhelm? He's been like that ever since we left Tulira. Maybe he's a bit nostalgic, having to leave his land again? Quién sabe. Hey, Chris Bell. We did what we had to, right? What do you mean? Of course we did. We saved the kingdom from the claws of that old bird. We were the heroes once again. You're right. We did what we could. Y desde luego, desde luego, hicieron muy bien. Y sí, incluso eh, de no ser así. Sí, en la, la batalla contra Ralus es importante usar los cristales hacia el futuro y que Chris Bell lleve puestas las botas. Mmm, livianas acorazadas, porque. O si no. Prisa no lo viviría para contarlo. Y 
aquí sí. También. Y sí, también le, le propusimos que eh, invirtieras los fondos tanto en la universidad como en. ¿Cómo decirlo? Ah, sí. Tanto en la universidad como en. Com como en el museo. Y ahí desbloquea dos logros. Uno es académico y el otro es aprende del pasado. Y listo. Ahora sí, vamos a hablar con Wilhelm. Maestro, I have a couple of. Maestro, is everything okay? I'm not in the mood right now. Sorry. Pues sí. Bueno, después de todo, todo lo que pasó en Neaturira con con ese eh, con los gemelos Sirvo y Arbo, los cuales también resultaron ser los discípulos de Wilhelm. Y ahora vamos a hablar con JKR. What's happening with Wilhelm? Human emotions are complex and too complicated for my liking. Friends, family, home. These are all temporal concepts created by humans. Just as time passes, so do those concepts. Even something that once had great meaning for someone can lose its significance after time has run its course. But hanging on to those concepts, those memories, isn't that what pushes us forward? If you want to see it like that, go wild. I'll never understand you humans. Mm, pues sí. Jamás entenderá los JKR jamás entenderá a los humanos. Ni las emociones ni nada. Vamos a hablar con Matías. Do you know what's wrong with Wilhelm? I am not certain, but I suspect he is grieving. Grieving? I believe he was quite close with the deceased matriarch Gladys. Oh, that's right. It was awful what Rallis did to her. I suppose it was. But I find it hard to blame Rallis. I think given the chance, many people would choose another chance at life, no matter the cost. She did so many awful things. From our perspective, yes. But for her, I doubt the situation was quite so black and white. Imagine pretending to be something you are not for years. Imagine how hard that would be. Something must have happened to drive her to act so desperately. That doesn't excuse it. No, I suppose it does not. But she also was not the only one at fault. The real villain was whichever of Gladys's children betrayed the family. Mm, pues sí. Más bien dos hijos de Gladys que traicionó a la familia. Eh, son los gemelos Sirvo y Arpo. makes it even worse for Wilhelm. The children all used to be his students. Indeed. Why not get some sleep? We are setting out for Cinder in the morning. Okie dokie. Y sí. Esa es la razón por la que... Good morning, everyone. Are we all ready to depart for Cinder? Como dije antes, esa es la razón por la que no me fui a, a curar en la posada. Porque si... Porque para así poder... Como así para... ¿Para qué curarme en una posada si... Eh, con, ¿Para qué gastarme 200 canicas en la posada? Pudiendo descansar durante el viaje eh, y recuperarnos gratis. I am. Don't they have the biggest crystal forge in the world? They do. Or they did. I heard it closed down recently. From what I've heard, Cinder is located inside an active volcano. Though most cultures avoid building in such places, as the natural environment is rather deadly, the Cinderians have embraced doing so. Wait, what? Isn't that incredibly dangerous? Indeed it is. Well, at least for those made of skin and bones. <clears throat> we will have plenty of time to discuss those matters when we arrive. Y 
y llegamos a Tinder. We've reached Cinder, darlings. This is as far as I'll take you all. Thanks for the help, Miss Paulina. No problem, Sugar Plum. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a nap I need to take. Well, off to Cinder it is. The city should be up to the north. Then to the north it is, young mages. De acuerdo. Cinder, allá vamos. Me pregunto qué clase de nuevos problemas nos toparemos en allá. En Cinder. Y llegamos a... El pueblo de Cinder. This is... This is incredible. We're actually inside a volcano. Though most cultures avoid such places due to the great risk of a painful death, the Cinderians have embraced it. Not only does the lava heat the Great Forge, but it's used for glassworking and other crafts. Would you like to know more? What's with that giant red rock out there? Seriously? You're standing in a city, inside a volcano, and you're blathering about a larger than average rock? What is wrong with you? It's a really big rock, with a tiny house on top of it. It's gotta be important somehow. Just try to enjoy the view, quietly, okay? Ese, ese par. No hay quien pueda con ese par. Ah, los guardias cinderianos. Voy a explorar por aquí. No falta. Bueno, voy a viajar al pasado. Digo, al futuro. No, no hay cofre. Siempre es bueno explorar los alrededores. Y sí, en el futuro, como que todos ah, está, ya se ha consumido por la lava. Veamos qué, qué tal es el, en el pasado. Mm, bueno, me pierdo con tanta caja, pero no hay cofre. Here you go. Y sí, conseguimos una linterna de lava. Wait, what? What is this thing? Vera, don't just run off like that. Sorry, young man. She's just excited about the Lantern Festival. El Festival de las Linternas. Mm, me parece interesante. Lantern Festival? Oh, you're travelers, of course. It's an old tradition. Once a year, we fill these lanterns with the memories of those we have loved and those we have lost. Then, we release them, lifting their souls to the clouds. Just like this. Vaya, el festival de las linternas. Ya, vaya, vaya. Oh my, Fira. You should have waited for the speech over by the first citizen's house. Come, let's get you another one. Oh my dear Fira, you are such an airhead. Are there always this many? Yes, well, it has not been a good year. There have been so many sick with the glass lung. Anyway, we need to be off. Farewell. Bye, mister! Mmm, ya veo. En todos los lugares que hemos visitado, hubo problemas desde clasismo e incluso hasta racismo, como en el caso de Santa Clarita y Neva Tulida, respectivamente. Y sí, si no nos topamos en una, en una ciudad con, al, con algún monopolizador, con un, algún alcalde monopolizador, nos topamos con que con el misterio de la muerte de una matriarca y muchas cosas más. Y aquí parece que el problema, el eje del problema es, es el pulmón vitreo. Bueno, es más que todo una, una plaga que un que problemas con, en la sociedad. En fin, sigamos adelante. Looks like this part of town has seen better days. Is it just me, 
are a lot of these goblin people sick? Is that? It can't be them. Look. Vaya, vaya. Pero con quién nos encontramos? This medicine will help you feel better. I promise. You need to trust me, okay? I trust you. <coughs> Princess. Princess. Thank you so much, Princess. <coughs> Where would we be without you? I think we got to him in time, but barely. The glass lung is everywhere. If that bastard had closed the forge earlier, this wouldn't be happening. We should. Calm yourself, sister. You're not wrong, but the forge is closed now and it's still happening. This area is not even the worst of it. Still, there's no excuse for letting our people die. We need to keep moving. Try to save as many as we can. The Volcano Sisters? Helping people? This is unexpected. I don't like unexpected. We have to follow them. I'm detecting a high energy concentration west of here. Come on then, let's go. Nos vamos al oeste. Bueno. Ah, bueno, aprovecho y lo dejamos por ahí. Si les gustó, no duden en darle un like, suscribirse si todavía no lo están, activar la campanita para recibir las notificaciones y por qué no compartir el video con sus amigos. Eso es todo amigos, aquí Mr. Jonathan. Y nos vemos la próxima. ¡Hasta luego!